Good morning and welcome. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge the Bunwurrung people of the Kulin Nation as traditional custodians of the lands on which our school stands and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging, for they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of Australia's first peoples. At St Michael's, we acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples have never ceded sovereignty and are the original custodians of shared knowledge, leadership, and from whom we still have so much to learn. Welcome to our online open morning. Ongoing restrictions on visitors to the school, the requirement to wear masks indoors and density limits has meant that gathering at the school for an open morning has just not been possible yet. But we do hope that you're able to visit us soon. I think it's crucial for you and for your child to visit so that together you can assess if this is the right fit for you. We are offering currently small tours of the campus and welcome you to consider joining one of these as soon as possible so that you're better able to understand St Michael's. I would also say that if you've not already taken our virtual tours or watched our videos of students and parents on our virtual tour site, I highly recommend them to you. They are incredibly engaging particularly the students' ones, and provide you with insight into the day-to-day -day experience of being a member of this unique place. In the meantime, I trust that this online event will provide you with a window into the world of St Michael's, a place where creative, inquiring minds are learning every day from, with, and for the world. In 2022, the word that unites the efforts of our staff, students, and parents is courage. Since I commenced my tenure as head of the school, I've had a word to focus the mind each year. As I reflected over the break about all the students, staff and parents of St Michael's have achieved and accomplished in the past two years, despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, I was struck anew by the collective courage and openness of this community. In determining a word for the year, I just kept coming back to the importance of courage as a virtue a quality and a mindset. Its etymology is the Latin core, meaning heart, and I think it resonates as we enter the third year of the COVID-19 pandemic. You see, it really is true to say that at St Michael's we use our head, hearts and hands to lead, to educate, to learn and to grow. And this year it is a gift to be able to celebrate the courage of our community here at the school and more broadly across Melbourne and Victoria, and to show the courage of our convictions, that the education and well-being of children and young people matters, and that no matter what the circumstance, we believe they have all that it takes to author their story as they learn and grow. Vital to the golden threads of St Michael's is the narrative of our founding in 1895 by an Anglican order of nuns, the community of the Sisters of the Church. It's from the sisters that we inherited our values, dignity, respect, care and compassion. And these are not just words for us. They are guiding principles and are truly lived at St Michael's in daily actions. We also owe our steadfast adherence to the concepts of diversity and inclusion to the sisters. From the very first day, they accepted students of all faiths or no faith. And as a result, St Michael's is a proudly diverse community, strong and cohesive. We've always been a school where well-being and learning are inextricably linked. In the words of Professor Michael Fullan, they form the double helix of effective education. When a student's well-being is supported, they develop and sustain the confidence and motivation to learn, to find their niche, unearth their talents and develop a strong sense of self and belonging. St Michael's students are provided many opportunities to have a say in decisions that affect them. And as a member of this community, they will be encouraged, indeed expected, to find and use their voices. This is a place where your child will be known, their strengths appreciated, and they will be supported and challenged to be the best version of themselves. They will learn from an expert staff and from their peers. As a single campus school, there are many informal and formal opportunities for older student, younger student, positive peer interactions and mentoring. Our younger students look up to their older peers, but even more importantly, older students respect the contributions, talents and skills 
of their younger counterparts and they are never underestimated. In addition, as a teaching force, we are always looking forward and back, knowing the rigour of the learning that went before and what lies ahead. There is so much learning that happens at St Michael's within and beyond the classroom, both incidental and intentional, through our rich curricular and co-curricular programs. As we look to the future, we are curating more real world learning experiences to fully harness the potential of our location here in the vibrant, creative inner city of Melbourne. And we look beyond to the awe-inspiring natural landscapes of Australia, where Year 7 heads off on Exodus next week. And when international travel allows, our languages exchanges, our immersions, and an exciting array of performing arts, service learning, and STEM tours will resume. And aren't we all looking forward to that? Having options to pursue the pathways of their choosing is a key to a successful transition beyond school. And in 2021, we're so proud of the class of 2021, where our students achieved the best VCE results in the past nine years. And 100% of our graduating class who applied for a university place gained their first preference in the first round of offers. Our Parent Community Association is another key pillar of an effective education. They're an amazing group, committed to the school and to the flourishing of our young people. A network of parent year level representatives supports the home school partnership. We work together to curate topics to inform our series of Ask an Expert at SMGS events, to connect our parents to experts within and beyond the school, the psychology service, the health centre, wellbeing staff and our teachers. These educative and informative sessions, the most recent one was just last night, present vital opportunities to support our parents and for them to learn about the school's approaches to learning and well-being. There are also, of course, many opportunities for parents to socialise as well and connect with one another and lots of opportunities to volunteer and feel part of the school. The old saying, it takes a village to raise a child, is a lived reality at St Michael's and we invite you to our community of experts. No one is alone on the parenting journey here. 